Hey guys, a long time since my last vlog here, and um, almost a week into being in a new spot, I will make this uh, vlog here. A lot of information today, um, just give you a rundown of what has been going on. I um, left St. Martin the, um, the 9th of April, and I arrived in Orlando. Um, and now in Ocala, Florida, which is about an hour and a half from Orlando. And um, it's been a great time. I mean, I feel like it's been a really, it's been a blessing to be here, honestly. I mean, it's been, um, many of you probably have, like, the last video I've heard a lot of people say, are you okay? <laughs> are you okay, Gideon? And, um... Even though I was okay, I was probably not fully um, calm and collected and, you know, a bit, of, a bit of stressful inside still. About the quick move and not knowing and... But you know what, I feel I'm back on track and uh, it has a lot to do with what has been going on here, who I'm around and what I've been experiencing. So it's just been, been fun and uh, it's been... Uh, it's been really, really good. <laughs> so that is the the short version of um, the initial shift here for the, the past six days. And uh, just to give you a rundown, uh, Wednesday I got picked up by my friend Loida, and we drove up to Ocala where she lives, and that's where I'm staying, where I'm here. And um, she is uh, in theater. She makes movies, short films. She's a model, doing a lot of different things, and that. In that, in that area, um, an environment that she was doing a Rocky Horror Picture Show, a theater show, which was gonna be uh, happening or you know launched that same weekend, and uh, she was gonna go to a rehearsal Wednesday night when I came, and I was went right in there and uh, if you don't know Rocky Horror Picture, which I didn't, it's a horror movie and very sexual oriented, I guess. Um, everybody in the U.S., as far as I have heard, knows about this, and all over the world they're playing it every, you know, all the time. But I have no, had no clue what it was, uh, but it was in a great experience. Uh, I guess the rehearsal there was kind of like, what in the world is going on there? Very uh, upfront stuff. Um, very open people who is just open and free, it seems, you know, um, it's very special. And um, and I was actually a part of the movie, the theater, rehears rehearsal there for a couple of minutes. But uh, that was, yeah, getting a feel. I, I don't know. It's fun, anyway. <laughs> um, so that was a good start. And uh, Thursday was gonna be my first experience being in a, being uh, watching a drag show, which is basically boys and girls dressing up. Uh, as the opposite sex, and um, you know, I have such a respect of people honoring themselves in that way. I know, you know, I can tell you seven years ago I was kind of homophobic, and that has changed a lot over the last years. I have a lot of friends who is, who is homosexual, and um, I mean, I don't care about, you know, that. I mean, people love each other, or people, if, if people love who they are, love themselves for who they are, and love the person next to them unconditionally, who cares about what sex they have? And I have such a respect for these people, because they are truly honoring themselves, and they are free. Um, and I would say that, I've said many times, if, there's probably one of the hardest things, I think, for a human being is to jump out of that closet. Stand, you know, toe-to-toe -to -toe with yourself and to, um, this is me, you know. So, uh, you know, I'm really, I'm really respectful and really uh, humble towards those people. I think they are amazing. So that was my, my, my first show. And uh, people dancing and uh, playback singing on the, on the floor there, a lot of dancing and it's good times, so uh, that was a good experience. Friday, my good friend Ben Leesman came up to me here in Ocala and was gonna be uh, staying for a night 
and we were going to go watch the um, Rocky Horror Picture Show together, which we did. And I guess we were in some way we were special guests since Loida is the lead in the show. So um, it ended up being Ben who... Uh, <laughs> There was a virgin competition when you, it's like an incarnate, incarnated thing with the Rocky Horror Picture Show, I guess. That, um, if you haven't been a part of the Rocky Horror Picture Show before, you gotta go up there and kind of strip in front of everybody, and, uh, I'm not to that kind of stuff, so I was like, no, I'm standing my ground, you know, and, and Ben was like, okay, Gideon, we gotta do this. She, he put, took his shirt off, and then the, uh, lady who was in charge of this uh, said, you know, okay, go down, go, go down again. And I was like, see you, Ben. Totally abandoning my friend up there. <laughs> so that was kind of fun. But, um, and then after I got called down to get a special guest lap dance in front of everybody, in front of the audience, and uh, so that was, uh, <laughs> that was special. Interesting. Uh, great show. I mean, this very different theater show and uh, fun uh, it's made in a way that you see you watch the movie on top of where the theater is going on so and it's basically mimicking what is going on so they're basically uh, lip-syncing with the movie which makes it easy to follow and you get a big good understanding of what the whole idea is about that was a great way to make it and I guess that's kind of the idea of, of this kind of show so uh, that was a good experience fun and uh, we had a great night, uh, Ben and me, uh, going out in the town, in Ocala, and, uh, and uh, hanging out, so that was, that was fun. Um, and then during the last couple of days here, um, I finally began to uh, um, feel that, I, uh, that what I'm doing makes a lot of sense. You know, I feel, I, you know, I feel like it's made a lot of sense, but now I feel people want what I have. And I have my book, and I am um, telling people to um, that they want if they want to sign copies, they can get one. So many people have have requested one, and I really am happy about that. You know, I really appreciate people wanting my book and what I've written and following me. A lot of people have begin to follow me, and I'm grateful. You know, I sometimes you feel like an idiot when you walk around and travel around and you can kind of feel restless sometimes you can feel what the hell are you doing and I guess that I'm beginning to feel satisfaction and, and see the value of what I am doing what I have done and that people can also see that they're inspired by it so it's just I'm humble and I uh, it's uh, it's exciting so uh, so I appreciate that I, uh, and I look forward to um, to, a lot of, to mail a lot of books this week and uh, please you know if you want a signed copy let me know write me an email and we will go from there so um, so it'll be good um, and today if you've seen my Facebook page loaded with pictures from a photo shoot we just did getting some more pictures with my logo oh it's over here <laughs> uh, and a book and stuff like that, so um, getting some exposure, getting some fun things done and happening here. Lord is full of energy, so she helps me uh, get out of myself a bit more than I've been used to, so it's good for me. Um, the upcoming week is basically I hope to get more busy mailing my uh, book and um, networking and uh, do all those things. And next weekend, this coming weekend, is going to be a lot of fun. We're going to, Lloyd and me is going to go down to visit the Venus Project. And um, that is going to happen on Saturday, the 20th. And the Venus Project, I'll post the link below here, is basically a guy, 97 years old now, Jack Fresco, who's traveled the world and is spending his whole life basically building a new society through the value through the knowledge, intelligence of how we can utilize um, technology and electricity and so forth in a much more sustainable way. And uh, I've been studying this for a long time and I really look forward to be having a tour around this place and uh, see what it's all about. So um, definitely I want to video blog on that for sure. It's going to be pretty amazing. And 
then the next day, Sunday, hopefully, I still say hopefully because I, um, um, it's got to be scheduled, but hopefully I'll have my spe special guest with me, and I'll interview him, and then we will do the draw uh, for the three gifts that I'm giving out, uh, which is my, uh, my book, my, uh, another book that I wrote a chapter in that became a bestseller, and one of the Unique, uh, Journey, uh, Journey t-shirts. And um, he's gonna. I'm gonna interview him first. So we gonna get a get a glimpse of his journey and what he's doing in his life. Cause he's an exciting guy. Has a lot of things going. And he's really uh, breaking through with, with what he has been working on and, and his passion. So it's gonna be exciting to hear from him. Um, um, yeah, hear about him and his life. And then, I, um, what's more? What's more? Then we're gonna do the draw, and then um, we will see who the three winners will be. Another photo to mail those um, um, three gifts to um, the people who win. So that's gonna be exciting too. Sorry for the length of this blog, but uh, a lot of information that I wanted to give out on the twenty-third, which is in nine days. I will be doing an interview which will be launched two weeks later with Karen Chow who has been inviting me to be interviewed with her because she finds what I'm doing interesting and I believe that that interview will help many more people get more familiar with me, what I'm doing, why, and my ideas about uniqueness, about journey in life, and uh, so forth. So I'm looking forward to that. That's gonna be on the 23rd and we're gonna uh, post that interview two weeks later. So stay tuned for that. I'll make sure you guys know about it. And uh, the rest of my time in o Ocala will be um, spent, you know, networking, doing my thing, enjoying and experiencing things around here. And I will leave again the 25th of uh, April to go to New, or New Orleans with Ben, my friend who was here on Friday, we're going to go to Jazz Fest and we're going to have a blast meeting up with the two great friends of us and um, I will be back in Orlando for a few days after that from the 29th of April and a few days ahead. So that is the basic plan as it is looking now. Um, so last couple of announcements if you want my cookbook signed get a mail copy let me know if you are not yet on the email list get on it so you can be a part of the draw this Sunday um, and let me know if I can help you with anything and then again thank you so much for helping me support me and expose me in any way you are doing and uh, thanks for following me I mean I'm it makes it so much more fun to be able to uh, share my life with you guys um, and um, hopefully um, more and more you will be able to share your life with me and um, that's one of the reasons why I want to interview uh, the special guest here on um, Sunday because you know it's fun to see you know how is other people's lives going what are they doing and why how um, how do they make it happen you know what have they been through so um, that's it for now. I will um, look forward to um, my, uh, the rest of my time here in Ocala and um, reach out anytime you want and I'll be here. Until then, may you be well and safe on your unique journey. See you guys.